Hello, everybody. This is Bundesfair Bob, and I'm joined once again by Benjamin Magnus. We're playing some more Victoria 2, where Russians just don't know how diplomacy works. When you ask them to check on a thing for the legality of it, and they're like, yep, we're just going to bring you into the thing now. It's like, well, I didn't want to be in the thing. Well, you're in it now. <laughs> you the, said for those the word, sure what's going you on. You said I, the word things, and the Russians just dogpiled onto the idea. I just wanted to see, you know, if there was any problem, like, with the Geneva Convention, if, you know, Germany wanted to intervene in the conflict, but then, you know, Russia's just like, oh, yeah, you're in the conflict now. Mm -hmm. It's like, I didn't want to be here. And, and after the Russians were like, you know what, Germany, you should really go teach France a thing or two. I, I don't object to that course of action, but it's just like, hey. You guys get into here. I think the French are starting to mobilize because I keep, I keep seeing small little stacks pop up. Well, you've already carpet siege down like a third of the country. Oh, I don't know about a third. Wow, well, a, a swath, perhaps. We, we, are, we are pulling troops into the country. We are sieging things. It's, it's we're doing okay. We're, we will stand victorious. Currently, over Russians are upset because I wanted to teach them how to read. I thought that was pretty funny. R Russia can into education. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to. I don't want to read. You can't make me. We are at negative twenty five percent. Oh no, is that there? Is that them at negative twenty five percent? Uh, whichever way the slider is moved is the... Well, let me look at this here. Pause this. Maybe I've been looking at this backwards. Show wars. Negative 25%. So, no, this is this is in our favor. Okay. Yeah, so things are, things are good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Iron and blood. Yeah, dig deeply and greedily. I have to go quash the anti-reader movement. <laughs> the first Green Rainbow didn't do anything for them. First, first reform the Russian Empire has ever, uh, uh, you know, passed, and it was just to get people to figure out how to read, and they're just like, no! Don't want Why to! Why would you do this to us? Why would you do this to Harvest, man? The Harvest! Uh, what Lots are we gonna do? Serbia, no. All, maybe, maybe they could all work as, as clerks for the vodka factory. There's a lot of French troops out here, I'm just saying. There's a few. There aren't any Ottomans left in... I think I, think I depopulated the Ottoman Empire. The healthy number of Ottomans have been... taken away. de ottomanified Okay, France, I am going to Doomstack you if I need to. Doomstacking in this this game definitely does work. Oh, poor rebels. Dutch troops, kill them! <laughs> the Dutch. Well, they can get over there now. Yeah. So, I mean... Well, 20, 29,000 Dutchmen just showed up, but I've got an army of 70,000 screaming Ruskies. Well, they're probably mostly, mostly Polacks. Uh, got two okay. armies there's on actually, rebel suppression now. a fair now. number of French troops that are in my territory now. But it's okay. We're just going to doom stack them, so it's not going to be a problem. Can I can I demand that France? Oh, they want a peace offer. They want a white peace. Should we do it? Well, that's up to you. This is your war to fight. I'm I'm simply along for the ride now. Right, well, I'm, I'm just made I'm very clear when I asked the Russian ambassador what's going give on. Me anything? Can I humiliate them? Are they the war leader? They are. I mean, white pieces would be the most advantageous. That's the, that's the best we can get anyway, because we can't add any war goals. Well, I'm looking right now. I could humiliate them. Well, you know, yeah. let's let's just white piece it. Or do we want to knock them down? If I humiliate them, they lose prestige. Yeah, let's do that. That's only cost three infamy. All right, now now we just wait until I can send out another like ambassador. And the Frenchies, I'm pretty sure I've mobilized the country. Is there a way that I can look at that? Uh, diplomacy... France? Peace offer from the Ottomans. White peace. 
Peace offer from France. Humiliate France. They'll, they'll, they'll accept humi humiliate France. Hooray. They're fine. <laughs> Hooray. I'm at peace. So nobody declare war on me. <laughs> nobody declare war on me. Russian communists apparently are massing in the country. All right, now I gotta, now I gotta figure out my army again. So let's look at uh, great power status. So it's the United Kingdom, France still they didn't lose enough. They lost a lot of prestige, but they still have a huge like industry. Um, you, U.S., then me, Japan, Italy, Spain. So Sweden got replaced with Spain. No, why are you running all the way back up there? I don't want you up there. You guys come back down here. You know what I think is funny? Now, since I've been... Oh! Um, there's rebels up there, that's why. Since What's I've up? been I've been hosting, my frame rate is smooth as butter. Well, compared Mine's to... Mine actually, might actually dip down. <laughs> so whoever hosts has a decent frame rate, because I, I was recording at like 12 frames a second. Now I'm recording at 30. I wouldn't say my my drop as as severe as that but uh I, I didn't notice a little bit of a frame drop as soon as you started hosting i don't know why is this is how it is hmm. right my income is yes. through the roof so i think i can lower my goddamn tariffs now Pro pretty much just cancel them yeah i can cancel the tariffs now and lower my taxes say i don't need that create army organization two and a half percent. That's something the Russians can into. Army organization. Army organization. <laughs> Got all my armies on rebel suppression now, so it's just pop up after pop up after pop up of uh yeah, we kill them. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I have that happen too a lot. Yes, you guys balance the armies. For love of God, balance the armies. Mm -hmm. The my, literacy is definitely going up. I'm at 83. Did we ever build that factory in Kiev? Or Kursk? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so for the purposes of balance, it looks like it just counts engineers as just infantry. It doesn't care otherwise. All right, Kiev. Oh! Gotta, gotta expand the factories in Kiev again. And Kursk. Jesus Christ. It's too many workers, not enough jobs. <laughs> Hashtag Russian great power problems. Yeah. It's too many people in this country, goddammit. <laughs> I'm sure that's actually not a problem. I think it was during, it was after World War II, right? That the, uh, I think there was, there was about 2 billion people on the planet, I think up to World War II or at the start of World yeah, War II, there. right? After that, it like tripled. Because there was, you know, very little warfare going, at least between great People powers, were quote unquote, sex great powers. A lot. There was just love in the air, mm -hmm. hippies. I don't care about the rebels. Just kill them. Just kill them and let me know when they're all dead. Just let me know when they're all dead. All right, time to stack up on the Austrian border again. I would love to do that, but God damn it, do I need my infamy to go away? It's you know whose border I don't need to stack six. up on anymore? Saxony's border. That's whose border I don't need to stack up on anymore. Goddamn Saxony. Military leaders died. That's okay. So who are you going to go punch next? Uh, Austria is on my mind. I mean, in um, I, mean, I have a choose with France, so France isn't going to be a thing I can do. I mean, I need to let my infamy tick down a little bit more. Then I'm going to I'm going to um, justify against Denmark, and then I'm going to have the Denmark war happen with Austria involved. And I'm hoping I've got enough infamy space to work with to get something against Austria. So when you um, when you absorbed Luxembourg, was that a decision? It was an event. It was an event that popped up. Okay. Yeah, like the Lubeckian parliament that just turned me into Germany. Yeah. Hey, you're Germany now. Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with that. 
Hey, new reforms. I can. What do I want to do here? And Germany is all about the reforming. We're trying. I'm going to give everybody. No, I can't do that. Well, I could do that. Oh, no wonder. It's the thing is, is that there's very few people who actually want any of these social reforms. Movements. Well, the suffrage movement. Well, no, that's that's something else. Universal voting. The top one of our top imported goods is liquor. How is that possible? <laughs> we don't produce sure enough it's... domestically. I export liquor. <laughs> that's one of my top three. <laughs> to probably to Russia. Uh, that's too funny. I think that's. I think that's really funny. There's. I well. Let's see how big this factory is now. Uh, let's see. Not Moscow. Kiev. It's a level 10 factory. So there's 100,000 people working in it. It's not enough. Tension in southern Finland. I don't care about the Finns. Sorry, Finns. Just, I've, You're not sorry. I've eaten way too much infamy. Is there any way to get that to go down faster? Infamy? Mm-hmm. I... I ew. If you know how to make to make it go down faster, by all means, leave a comment down below. Well, I have a war goal against... Cocklin? Cockend? Justified... No, I thought I did. Guess I didn't. Where are my armies? Well, those guys, you guys can merge together into one army. Oh, they're all, they're all moving around, killing communists. <laughs> hey, the election finished and there's a different political party in power? No, it's okay, we'll just slot in the one we want anyway. Yeah. Everything's fine. Oh, I still got an army stuck over here in, what's it called, land? Ottoman territory. Or France, <laughs> they got they got kicked around a lot. I'm not feeling too bad about that. Let's see, what do we produce? Well, what liquor is our is is in our top five domestically produced goods. We're just using it all and, and running running a deficit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> no, we are. That's why there's such a demand for for the liquor factory for people to work at it because they're all getting the perks of taking the liquor home. Mm -hmm. All right, there are bankrupt factories in the following states: East Galicia. Well, <laughs> those are the ones I those are the ones I took. Like not even three years ago, that thing got all messed up. It takes a little while to rebuild that stuff, man. Yeah, really. I got Lithuanian nationals, I got Polish nationals, Schleswigian nationalists, East German Galicia. reactionary. Why don't we open those factories and we'll subsidize them so they stay open and maybe people will move. We did depopulate the area pretty good. Jesus Christ. Like, like all my factories are like maxed out and I have unemployed workers everywhere. I'm just I'm come going I'm going around in every factory that's full right now. I'm just expanding. That's actually not a bad idea. I should do the same thing. A lot of them are arms factories. Expand, 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 expand. Everybody, expand your factories. Do the expand dance. Okay. <laughs> factories are growing larger. Okay. There we go. Uh, membership in the International Olympic Committee. What? A, a is that a good idea? Only 10,000 pounds? Okay. We got one and a half <laughs> million in the bank. Who cares? Meanwhile, Russians are complaining about how you guys are paying teachers too much. <laughs> yeah, really. Everybody gets pissy. And I don't know why. Southern Finland is just so pissy. 
Well, why is you gotta be so pissy? I don't know. Ask the fucking Finns. You could just release them. No. I it was just a thought. No, no, it's not, no. <laughs> I mean, what have they what have they done for you anyway recently? I mean, what's the RGO up there? So you've got wood. Ooh, there's some iron up there. I mean, they're not really doing anything. There's some grain, there's some fish. And they're giving you all sorts of pickled herring. <laughs> I'd love a pickled herring. What is who's in my store? Oh, hey, I'm number three in the great power list now. Oh, shut it. What? What? Is, what? I've been five for so long. Hey, you were on the list for a little while, okay? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, hey, Austria Hungary managed to claw their way back up onto the list. <laughs> that bottom slot: Sweden, Spain, Austria Hungary. Wow, Japan's got Poor more industry than me. Well, although I'm, you got rebels in like the Far East. Yeah, I know. I got people heading out there. 76,000 Russians go fight in the Far East. Hmm. And you still got you still got your little like province on the middle of China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. You just see about maybe recruiting more troops there. Like are we going to like finish up with China at all in any uh, way shape I or form? I want to, but again the problem is I don't have any infamy to spare. Mm. Stupid infamy. Polish nationals. Oh, God, all those Polish nationals. I thought I put you guys all in the military and sent you to Ottoman territory. You you trained them and they're on leave and they organized a rebellion. Yeah, apparently. Those bulls are angry. Well, we'll send some people over here. We'll, we'll, we'll divert them from the Far East. Influence with Xinjiang changed by five. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll gain an infamy because, you know. Because reasons. Why not? Liter What's your literacy? I am at 94.8%. I am 10% down on you now. Oh, sir, consider I started at 10%. I feel like 85% is pretty good. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. How's my infrastructure look? Oh, the infrastructure in Russia is gorgeous. Although I feel like infrastructure is maybe a little too cheap, considering like the this, the railroad quality is the same from France down through like the Balkans into the Ottoman Empire and straight down to like the Arabian Peninsula. It's all great, just a perfect tracks all the way down. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll get broken soon enough. Uh, military, we need to build more boats. We're going to build more navy. Uh, the Russians cannot into boats. Well, why not? Well, I've been too busy focusing on other things that are our, 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 our boat text like seven. Don't give me excuses. Give me results. <laughs> I, I, these Russian troops are technically Chinese. China wants military access. No. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> Just happen. no. Not gonna happen. Brazil really, really wants to be my friend. Oil production output 10%. How much oil do we produce? Where's oil on here? I don't see it. Electric. What are you looking for? Oil on the production list. Industry? Huh. Is it not on here? Or is it fuel? Oh, it's fuel, that's why. Fuel. 22, that's it. Okay. Well, let's see. Industry. Steam turbine. Diplomatic influence, factory out. I'm just going to turn everybody on to suppress rebels here. Yeah, I got all of mine on suppress rebels right now because I don't feel like dealing it with myself. 
Oh, we did. We did actually deal with some of it. Okay. <laughs> we scattered the poles. <laughs> Rude. Well, there were there was this huge giant cluster of of angry poles, and now it's it, it, oh, Russian communists have risen up again. Hey, I'm turning into Germany. Hey, enact women's suffrage. We'll do that. We'll give women the vote. German women can vote. Dipl oh, wait, wait, wait. Diplomatic crisis. Hanging troubles brewing. Italy has decided... Oh, there's something with the Ottomans. Crisis over the return of Greece's rightful territory. Oh, uh, I'm going to back... Uh, yeah, I'm going to back the hell out of Greece. If they ask me to. You don't want to fight Italy? No, I'm, I'm going to back Greece against Italy. Oh, okay. Because Greece is in my sphere. I want them. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, I'm back in them. Well, I don't think France is going to back our side. <laughs> no, but I mean... You... <laughs> I'm wondering if anybody else would. It's two great powers on one right now. So I, I feel like I'm building things. I am. I feel like this should this should resolve in our favor. Crisis over the return of Greece's rightful clay. So Greece is demanding their clay from the Ottomans. Yeah. But you know I'm cool with that. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. No, me neither. War will break out in 375 days with diplomatic solutions not found. Well, Italy, you know, you could uh, eat a dick. I mean, I think you can. You could. I think you have the ability to actually be like, hey, hey. Well, hey. I want to see if anybody else is going to join in on this, and we got a lot of time still. We do. It's true. Uh, let's see. Proposed solution. Acquire. Uh, nobody will accept that. So. The, so, the only solution I can propose is give us what we want. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very good solution to me. I, mean, I don't have a problem well, with that. It's give us what we want or basically white peace out. Uh, I'm going to learn about the assembly line. What's that? <laughs> can you line you assemble can, things can on? Can you use it to make vodka? Uh, kind of. Because cause if you if you can, the Russians are going to be all over it. Assembled from potato. All right. Where are all my armies? Oh, here's the army. It's marching back from the Far East. Should... Killing communists in China. Who do I who do I want to add to my sphere? Algeria? Algeria. Sure. Add Algeria to my sphere. Add early in the crisis. So nobody wants in. And nobody wants in on this because it's early on in the crises. Add Brazil to my sphere. Add Venezuela to my sphere too. Oh, Germany! <laughs> Germany can into South America. Ah, uh, yeah. Why not? With there's because there's a number of countries down here that aren't in anybody's sphere. So I mm -hmm. figure if I can get them in my sphere. That'd be great. Ecuador, meanwhile, is at war with Peru. Bolivia. Bolivia has not been touched. I'll go ahead and add Bolivia as well. Argentina. Yeah, add Argentina in here. I'm just going to go ahead and add a bunch of those South American countries. Cool thing is that if I can get them allied then at that point, I can just send troops down there mm -hmm. with military access. I can just start conquering South America if I wanted to. There are rebels all over the place. Russia. I mean, I'd love to see the Ottomans try to try to fight again. <laughs> that didn't go well for you guys last oh, time. France, France, and Britain are back in Italy. Oh, they are. Mm hmm. <whistles> Hooray! Luxembourg is now a core for me. Hooray! Hmm. Proposed solution. Give us what we want. The 
first to the poll. What is this? The Royal Price Geographic Society has announced an award. Uh, Italy is suggesting first. a white piece. Are they? Yeah. Should we just, considering everybody's stacked up against us, should we just say, eh, well, let's just leave it? I don't have a problem with that. That's actually going to be a good place to leave the episode then as well. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna let everybody cool their cool their tits on that one. All right, this is you. Yeah, all right. This is me. That's right. Don't you think otherwise. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.